There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall What's up guys? Get a little chest workout in. In the holiday. Holiday weekend. Uh, sorry for the angle but the way this machine is, it's just better this way. I'll change it later. Haven't done a chest workout here in a while but sort of late today so have to be in this gym but now that I have the rack back, it's not so bad. I always start out with incline. I don't really do flat bench anymore. I really like this bench machine, it's pretty good. I have it aimed against the mirror because the location is bad so Hey, I appreciate everyone joining. Kind of excited to be able to do chest here. Like I said, I haven't done it in a while. We're gonna do like a nice little chest routine. Unfortunately, I don't have that many weights. So I can only do like maybe 245s on each side and maybe a 10 or something else. But it should be good enough as long as we do a decent form. Last two days I've been kind of eating bad and some drinking so I'm a little out of it but like I said before this was my last two days and so now I'm really gonna get serious those next 30 days as far as the diet and the exercise That's 225. I prefer the bar when it's not so thick. Most benches, the normal bench, the bars are a lot thinner, but since this is meant mostly for squatting, <coughs> it's one of those really thick bars. It's kind of hard to grip. It's getting a little bit more in a heavier territory. What is that? 40, 265. Oh, I haven't even eaten anything. I feel weak now. Oh. Probably do another one of those and then I'll drop the weight since we don't want to go too crazy today. I'll flip the screen later, it's just it's not enough room. So, at least you guys can see when I do the exercise. I used to do flat bench, sometimes I do, but realistically I really just do incline because you work the lower chest anyways and uh, everybody really just wants more of that upper chest there's really no point of doing flat bench at all it's more for ego lifting Oh, not 
drop those 20s. One more set of this and one more drop and we should be good and move on to something else again if you're new click a follow and follow back it's like and share the live so I got rewarded for my exercising this late in the night she had quite a good pump from that actually oh. yeah it feels good actually Ah, oh, almost it here. Now drop it again. Now I'll probably do some flies. We'll see. I'm not really going for any bench records, so I prefer to not rest too long between, which makes me kind of like get more blood flow quicker. And actually, I get the workout done faster this way, which is my goal. I know really how to spend hours in the gym, I just want to get it done. stretch in there I'll flip the screen back what's up guys <coughs> so let's see what else we're gonna do probably some dumbbell flies I hate those but they work <sighs> Do them at an incline, you can do them flat, but I'm gonna do them flat now because since the flies they get more stretched that way. Up, Lando. <coughs> Get up more. But they're really good. You know, it's a good stretch. I mean, it's kind of similar to the heck deck, but you know, we will do some cables later too. And I mean, it's like sometimes there's a debate about it. Not necessarily for the growth of building the muscle, but since when you're doing chest, you're automatically engaging the triceps. If you have weak triceps or whatever, you can hit a couple of triceps exercises after because your you know, arms are already kind of you know engaged. Some people say no, I say yes. Doesn't really matter. Whatever works for you. There's really no 
black and white book. Some people respond to, you know, different things. But I do know that taking five minute breaks is bullshit. Talking on the phone in the gym is bullshit. So, if you do that, you probably look this way too. I gotta get my little headset things again. These always slide off, especially when you lay down. What's up, big boy? Say hi to everyone. Appreciate the participation. Also, I always upload all of my full length live workouts onto my YouTube channel. So, if you guys ever wanna re watch workouts, you can go to my YouTube channel. The link is in the bio. Gotta do one more here. And then uh, we're gonna do some different kind of cables, and then we'll do the pec deck at the end, and that should be fairly good enough for chest. So it's kind of good to incorporate into the chest workout is the is some dips on the dip machine that right here because you're still using chest, but you also, you know using triceps too so this is kind of like a good super setting thing to do something you can do in between towards the end but definitely not a bad thing so I, I did go out a couple of days ago actually I did go out Friday night and Saturday night so definitely have to make up for that now. Too much eating and drinking. And I feel that right away. And I see it. We got a lot of water. But uh, you know, if you want to uh, gotta have a little fun too. complain about people not putting up their weights oh, it's one of the most exhausting things to put the fucking weights back so there's really three and I sometimes go where I like it over here because in the other gym there's always people there's three things you can do with the cables for the chest in the lower the middle Inside of the upper chest. I think in most workout videos or any kind of post, you mostly see people just doing these and that's it. But it's actually a lot more. And I always like these to do a few of them to hit you know all the areas. So yeah. So this is more for the lower chest which is you know, still important either way so kind of just bring your arms together and your feet together and you come up like this pretty much the arm is pretty straight Oh. oh yeah, so 
What's up? Say hi to everyone. Where's the lighting bed over here? Over on the other side. Oh, that's the same thing. Appreciate everyone that's joining. Like I said, these are all of these. When you get a really good full chest routine, obviously there's a lot of things you can do, but the main thing is to incorporate one really good mass building exercise with definitely the bench or a dumbbell, you know. You can do dumbbell presses too, but uh, you know, bench, dumbbell presses or both, at least to begin with. I do largely three, four exercises, you know, five sets each, eight to 12 reps. Don't really do more. If I feel like it's, I can do 15 or 20 reps, then the weight's too light. So I see it. Good, like in between, you do maybe some push ups. Oh, this helps pump it up a little bit more. Oh. So now I will move it up higher. And now I will sort of keep it at an angle and I'm just gonna go like this. It's more for like the lower to medium. Fenty, appreciate it. Appreciate the follow. Working on chest today. We did bench. We did dumbbell flies. Now we're doing cable crossovers. And then the end, probably do some pec deck. I mean, there's obviously lots of other things you can do, but I think that's a pretty solid workout if you want to get good results. You might want to really building the muscle. You can obviously, I suggest to do the incline bench like I did and then still do some dumbbell presses, incline or laying down either way. Start using my mic again, but I like a little music in the background, and the music over here is not that good. And I can't do just headphones because all the headphones have mics in it. So, but yeah, I appreciate you guys liking your live, sharing your live. Really helps me out. Last set here for this. Now 
we're gonna do somebody's traditional, just normal white crossover ones. Just a couple of them to finish up. Like I said, most people just do three or four of one. I just like to do those little variations to hit, you know, the lower, the middle, and the upper part of the chest. A little extra. So. There's also different ways you can do these. People do them in different ways, but you can do them where you come up like this and cross them over like that. Or you can do them really concentrated like this. Or you can even press them like that. What's up, Marvel? Hey, everybody that joins, please click a like and a follow. I follow back after the live. Also, DM me with any questions. Look at my other post. Comment on those. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on YouTube. Twitter, whatever you guys want. I don't really do too much on Twitter, but uh, YouTube I do. Full length workout videos on YouTube. could stop right now and everybody would say that this is a decent chest workout but you know chest is one of those things kind of never want to stop always feel like it's not done when it's really done deck machine this one is a little different because it's like at an angle it's kind of weird I don't really prefer it but this is what it is Nothing generic here, but all special. It's on complete. I like the cardio, right? Definitely got a pretty good pump in the chest. Oh, 
One more. Get a little bit more stretch. Appreciate it. Say hi to everyone. <sighs> so what was that? Like 30 minutes? Kind of. See without any breaks. Full chest workout. 30, 35 minutes. Most people hang around in that shit for like an hour, hour and a half. Absolutely not necessary. Waste of fucking time. in and out you want to be effective also what's kind of good sometimes is sometimes you do like a heavy day with less reps and more weights and sometimes you do like a lighter day but if you're starting out and you want to put on some size I really recommend to do one really heavy set or two even if you can just do two or three reps even if you don't have a spotter, those two or three reps will be way more effective than 10 or 12 with the weight that you can do easily. You should try to go up every time. It's the goal. There's no growing without lifting some heavy weights. Now, once you got some size like me, I can maintain it. I don't have to really go crazy anymore, but to get there, I lifted heavy for many years when I was younger. Now I can maintain it. I don't really need to grow that much. What's up, Hunter? Yes, I am German. Born and raised. Frankfurt, Germany. And now I live in Boston. At least for the time being. Cardio, I always say, I do about at least five to seven times a week. When I want to get leaner, like now, I do it sometimes twice a day. About four miles an hour, two incline. About 125 to 135. Heartbeats per minute, which is around 70 to 85 of my heart rate max, which is still sort of what I consider low intensity cardio for fat burning. Rather for longer periods of time, but at least I don't sacrifice any muscle while I'm trying to lean out, just reduce the body fat. Testosterone. I take it right now because I'm older. I take it on testosterone replacement therapy as part of me being my age. So if you're over 35, well, it's likely testosterone is low. I don't know about if we're built different. I think it's just hard work in the gym. I don't think, I don't think I think you can do it, Jeremy. Even though I would have to say that like some of these strong men are always from like Sweden or Iceland or whatever, so maybe there's something to it. I don't know. I am in America. I'm in Boston. Beach, <laughs> uh, You know, testosterone is something your body naturally produces, and after a certain time, it goes lower. So you should probably get a get a blood test done and see what it is. But you can take all the stuff you want. If you don't work out right in the gym, you don't eat right. You still gotta look good. I'm German. As I said before, not Russian, ice bath every day. Yeah, that's great. No, the cold plunge is really good. Unfortunately, I don't have one close by, but maybe after I buy the car this summer, which I didn't really need, I might join a Lifetime, which has a cold plunge. It's a little bit further away from where I am right now, I don't really need it, but yeah, I think it's great. It's really good for circulation. There's a lot of theories about core plunging and accelerating the fat loss and all this other stuff. There might be some truth to it temporarily, but what people don't understand, metabolic effects of the body being cooled down and have to heat itself up, it's maybe like 30 calories or 50 calories. 
that it burns to do that. The only way to lose body fat and weight is by being in a calorie deficit. It doesn't matter how you do it. Whether you do it with intermittent fasting by eating less in an hour window, by eating less calories below what you're burning regularly, or by doing it with exercise and cardio. Either way, it doesn't fucking matter. And also it doesn't matter if you eat ice cream or Nutella or chicken. It matters that you're eating less calories that you're burning. And all the other shit doesn't matter. Over a week's period of time. And it doesn't matter that 3,500 calories equals a pound of fat. And if you eat less than 3,500 calories in a week of what you burn, then you lose a pound of fat. And that's not magic, that's just science. But people don't get it. They think they have to do this magic diet. Back and forth and up and down. Food choose this. No, man. It's a lifestyle choice. Just create something that works a long time. Not short term. Burn fat, pops, heal skin. Well, you know, like I said, I'm not saying there aren't benefits to certain things, but nothing burns fat but eating the right diet and exercise. All this other burning fat crap is, like I said, very minimal. Like I said, there aren't any magic tricks to getting in shape. It just takes consistency and dedication and discipline. Yes, you can do keto and lose 20, 30 pounds. And then you put it right back. You can eat a juice diet and lose 10 pounds and then you get it right back. Because this isn't meant to be like this. Your body's meant to eat what it needs. And then you exercise, walk around, create the deficit that way. And then you have more and more lean body mass, more and more muscle, and the more muscle you have, the more calories your body burns to nothing. So when you like 10% body fat, which I'm gonna be in about two or three months, I'll have 90% pure muscle, so I'll burn calories just sitting on a fucking toilet, just sitting on a couch, because my body's mostly gonna be consistent of muscle tissue. So when you get there, you have to do a lot less. You can eat more, you can get away with more stuff, but it's hard to get there, even for me. You have to be very disciplined. Write everything down, weigh all the food, make all the food. It's not everybody's thing, but uh, it all depends on your goals, you know. I've been doing this on and on for 30, 35 years. I've competed several times, got down to 3% body fat, got burned out, stopped for five years. You know, but now that I'm getting older, I really want to be in my best shape and keep it up and, you know, gotta do a lot. But it's okay, it's a choice. Thanks, yeah, I always had good arms. You know, it's genetics, you know, like some people have certain things that are prominent body boss. I always had a decent chest, good shoulders and good biceps and triceps, but just make sure you work out your triceps, you know, like triceps is the majority of the of the arm. You can have big biceps, but the triceps really make the whole circumference of the arm. And I was starting out, I always used to just love working out biceps. I try said it's really important. But man, I'm telling you, the older you get, the more you have to work this shit. The more I gotta do it all, man. I gotta watch the the carbs. I gotta do the cardio. I gotta do the weights. I cannot make any mistakes. I I'm not yet. I'm not at that level yet. Once I get back down to like 10%, I guess I don't even get away with more. It's just so hard to get to that level. Hit a little bit of a plateau sometimes, even with the calories in, calories out. You just gotta do more cardio. Right now I'm doing 30 minutes. In two weeks I might have to upgrade to 45 minutes twice a day just to push one that barrier. Oh yeah, Alex is actually doing, he's looking real good. He's doing a show next week. Unfortunately I can't make it. It's in Austin, Texas. He's doing a physique, Emmett of Physique's first show. I think he looks real good. 
I might make it to the second one, but yeah, he looks awesome. Thanks. Hey, Eli, what's up? Yeah, you had to really, my brother Alex, he had to really be focusing on competition prep. It's real serious. I mean, can't really go live all the time. So I know what that's like. The 24 hour thing. That'd be kind of shutting off. And, I mean, if you want to be comfortable. But yeah, I appreciate everyone liking the live, sharing the live, following me on my other platforms, and try to follow everyone back. Appreciate all the questions. I answer anything I can. Thanks for the like. Send me a PM if you, a DM if you have personal questions, interest in coaching. Also, can message me on Instagram. All my links are in my bio. Uh, Eli, yeah, long time no see. Appreciate that, Jason. Thanks a lot. I'm working on uh, leaning out. I was in a little walking phase for the last two, three months. Put on about 10, 15 pounds of muscle, some fat, which is necessary. So now I'm going back down over the next, you know, 30 to 45 days. Kind of slowly, just reducing the calories, probably to about 2,000, and before I was probably eating at 3,000. And then uh, maybe 1,500 to 2,000. And I do cardio twice a day, depending on how I look. So I don't care about scale. Scales are all varies off from one day to the next. Can be, you can weigh up to four or five pounds less or more in one day. So scales often don't matter at all. Depends how many sodium, how sodium you eat, how much liquids you drink. So the only way you can really judge a scale, and I've said this all the time, is if you weigh yourself every day same time in the morning and you take an average from all of those that's kind of a good one. some people like they weigh themselves and they're like oh my god i gained five pounds in the last three days it's like no you didn't my girls it's my man i have to service what who's my girls okay who's that i'm gonna start doing a lot of walking outside too right, let's go live there I don't want to run a stupid walking sticks. It's annoying to see my heart rate right now. For example, my heart rate right now is too low. When you walk for a while, sometimes, so now I gotta, technically I gotta up, gotta up the speed a little bit. I'm probably just gonna run for like one minute just to get my heart rate up because it's been too low. Should do the trick. Even like 30, 40 seconds. Yeah, I can't do shit right now. That's funny. Let's see if that works. <sighs> yes. 150. Should level off. Cool. Yeah, fuck that sprint shit. I don't like the Innova crap. Yes, it can burn more calories. It can burn muscle too. Show me any professional bodybuilder, or Olympia competitor that does Innova cardio. Show me one. Show me a Chris Bumstead or Derek Lance or anyone. Any highest level athletes in the bodybuilding world that are purely for muscle appearance and uh, they won't do it but it's not about how many calories you burn is the way you burn the calories you know I don't like interval training or sprints at all because I don't care about that one time I do it consistently that's why I do it twice a day or every day five six seven days of course I can say I just do two days a week and I do it for an hour, and I do the 30 second interval for 45 minutes. I burn the same amount of calories, but I burn half my muscle away. Why do I want that? You know, calorie burning is not calorie burning. Slowly. Yes, yeah, it takes more time, but it's fine. Sure will, thank you. Right now I'm gonna do cardio every morning on an empty stomach which is the best. 
then all the glycogen is comp uh, depleted by 30 minutes and then another 30 minutes after the weight workout so if you guys can only do it once a day do it in the morning after the weight workout love the shades my favorite thank you Eli yeah cardio in the middle of a day without with food or before the workout is like a waste of time I mean it's never a waste of time because you still burn calories but it takes like 15 minutes to get into you know the met metabolic state to the state where you actually start burning you know fat because the first 15 minutes you can just burn sugars you still burn calories overall which is what you want but like I said it's like all those people that are they warm up with freaking bands and all these stretch moves and shit you know and so that you warm up with the weight you warm up with the lighter weight of the exercise you're gonna do because so i'm doing chest i'm not gonna like start stretching and stuff i'll do a chest workout with a light weight that i know doesn't do anything for me it's a much better stretch exercise than standing somewhere i mean i'm nothing against it it's just just a waste of time in between a set maybe then I see all these people standing around they stretch for like 10 minutes and then they pick up like a five pound dumbbell I'm like what the fuck are you doing appreciate that Eli thanks a lot ice water yeah if you catch the tail end of this sorry I always finish up with cardio it's not the most exciting thing to see other than let me flex a few times right now but uh you know apartment lives this week a couple of cooking ones so it's coming and i don't know where you guys are located primarily so sometimes i'm trying to figure out what the besides my own schedule what the best time is to go live because you know i'm in eastern i don't know what you guys time zones are since everybody's somewhere different but i did have a nice fattening pizza earlier so <laughs> definitely worked this off about half of it I was craving this before my, you know, diet starts tomorrow. But yeah, I'll probably do another protein bar review too, since it's a bunch of new stuff that came out if people are interested in that. Maybe on a weekend. Also go to New York, New York on Wednesday for a business event. Staying the night over in Manhattan. Then the week after I'm going to Florida to see my mother for a couple of days. She bought a new house. Wants me to check it out. Well, not the house, but like building it so stay in a couple of days over there and then sorry what was the question Paul I didn't see your question say it again sorry must have been hidden I don't think I saw your question Paul anyway now I'm going to Dominican Republic the end of the month I like it over there direct flight from Boston too it's always good yeah sorry Paul I didn't I didn't get your answer. I don't. I don't really see the question anywhere. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, guys, if you're new, please follow me, like the live, share the live. I follow back. So if you want to see full-length workout videos, they are on my YouTube channel. You can find the link in the bio. Got a bunch of stuff like over 60 videos uploaded there. Mostly all the lives from over here, the, the full-length ones. I can't really post on a TikTok because I just have little clips. Thank you. The crown. Yes. I am the king, am I? <laughs> I'm going to do some posing sessions like uh, on a regular basis without the shirt on once I get down to the desired body fat. And it's worth flexing, so you got to be patient on that. But I will. And I'm going to have to start tanning, obviously. Oh, my cardio time goes so much by so much faster with you guys. Only four minutes to go. I'm evening right now, even after workout, I normally should consume a bunch of carbs. But at late night, I'm not gonna eat that much. And I like my start on cutting carbs and the calories a little bit. Always feels good when you accomplish the whole, the whole workout. I 
one minute left. Oh, where are we at with the heart rate? Yeah, so I think I'm pretty much done with the tonight's session. Had a good time for the most part working out. So hopefully you guys like the chest workout. The cardio talk, more to come. Apartment lives this week, protein bar review, maybe some giveaways, some other stuff, I don't know yet. Kind of mix stuff up as I go along. But for now, I appreciate everyone. Like I said, like the live, share the live. And until tomorrow, guys, thanks, have a great evening. Appreciate it.